Hello guys. So this is your ophthalmology guru, Dr. Neha Agrawal, and I'll be talking about the INICT ophthalmology questions. The iconic question, I think I have told you millions time in the classes also that Wilson's disease on the KF ring is a very, very important. Again, this was also a part of our important list. So let's see what are the questions they have asked about the KF ring. Uh, they are asking you the true statement regarding the KF ring. What is KF ring? It is the Kaiser Fleischer. Kaiser Fleischer ring that is. And uh, where you get this? You get this in the Wilson's disease. Okay. Wilson's disease where you are getting the inborn error. Inborn error of the copper metabolism. So this is an inborn error of the copper metabolism where you are getting the KF ring and it is associated with the low levels of the ceruloplasmin. Low levels of the ceruloplasmin and due to the low levels of ceruloplasmin we have copper deposition. What is this called as? This copper deposition is called as the chalcosis and due to this, you get a cataract. What is the name of that cataract? Sunflower cataract. So, sunflower cataract, as I always say, is one of the fancy names of the cataract. And fancy names of the cataract are again quite important. As so many times, what are the other causes of sunflower cataract? Other causes are, if you look at the DD, we also have the penetrating trauma. Penetrating trauma is also there and then we have got the copper deposition the chalcosis in general also can actually lead to the sunflower cataract now though we are getting the sunflower cataract here but one thing is uh, worth mentioning that the most common ocular feature if they ask you the most common ocular feature of the wilson's disease then it is not the sunflower cataract, it is the KF ring only, which is named after the two scientists. We have the Bernard Kaiser and the Bruno Fleischer. Bernard Kaiser and the Bruno Fleischer, these were the two friends who discovered about this, and that is why it was called as KF ring. Okay. Now, don't get confused with another thing that is called as the Flesher ring. We also have one more ring that is called as the Flesher ring. Flesher ring is found in the keratoconus. And in the keratoconus, we are getting at the base of the cone. At the base of the cone, we are having and what kind of deposition we have? Iron deposition. Here, you are having the iron deposition and which layer? In the epithelium. See, these depositions are always very important with respect to the layers of the cornea. Uh, like if you talk about this KF ring, KF ring we are getting in the Desmond's membrane. This we are getting in the Desmond's membrane. While if you talk about the Flesher ring that is found in the epithelium, then in the uh, KF ring you are getting the copper deposition while here you are getting the iron deposition. Similarly, do you remember the Stalker's line? The Stalker's line is also the iron deposition that you get in pterygium. Okay. Now, if I talk about the options, let's look at the options first, what they are trying to say. First of all, they are saying, it is pathonomic of the Wilson's disease. So, this is actually a wrong option. It is not pathonomic. It is the most prominent ocular feature of Wilson's disease. It is the most common feature of the uh, Wilson's disease in the eye. But it is not pathonomic because pathonomic means that it is exclusively found in the Wilson's disease. If I am getting KF ring, that means Wilson's disease, that's it. So, it is not like this because you can get this in the primary biliary cirrhosis. Uh, I think your Robbins tells you this. 
So, we have got this KF ring in the primary biliary cirrhosis as well as the chalcosis. So, therefore, I cannot say that this KF ring is entirely pathonomic of the Wilson's disease number one. Number two, they are saying that it is seen in the superior and inferior Desmond's membrane. So, actually this is to start with. If you remember in the band shape keratopathy also, I told you that we do not get the band abruptly. So, if this is your eye, okay, so we get the deposition starting from here and here and then somewhere uh, after some time they are merging to form the total band. So, this takes place horizontally in the cases of band shape keratopathy. But when it comes to the KF ring, when it comes to the KF ring, what happens? We have the golden brown. We have got the golden brown ring. So, we have this ring first located in the superior and the inferior quadrant something like this. See, I have got a pic also. So, can you see uh, in this pic that you have the deposition that is present, see superiorly and then inferiorly. Afterwards, it will come like this also and like this also. So, uh, first you are getting these... Um, vertical uh, or the superior and inferior. From superior and inferior also I can say first it is superior and then it is inferior. So, deposition is taking place in this uh, order. It is first superior then inferior and then the nasal and temporal. So, this is absolutely correct answer and its color is golden brown in color. It is golden brown in color and uh, it looks greenish actually. It looks greenish actually it is golden brown in color due to the cobalt blue filter because you are looking it through the cobalt blue filter that is why it is appearing greenish but otherwise it is golden brown in color. So that means <coughs> this statement is right. This statement is right that it is seen in superior and inferior Desmond's membrane. Now see the option number C and D. It is seen in all patients with a neurological involvement or it is uh, seen in all patients with hepatitis or hepatic involvement whatever it was. So, if you go by the standard textbook, see data is always vary if you go with the different books. So, uh, but near about you can say the range I can say. So, in the neurological involvement it is 95 to 100 percent. While if I go with the hepatic involvement, it is about 65 percent. So, those people who are having the KF ring, okay, you are getting them along with 95 to even 100 percent of the patients with the neurological involvement. So, if I have something having 95 to 100, I think I can go with this all. All means practically all 95 to 100 percent of the patients who are having the neurological involvement will also show you the KF ring. So, this is also the right option. Okay. Now, if you look at the D option seen in the patients with the hepatic involvement, again they are saying all. So, this is actually wrong. It is not all. I think this is about 50 percent because some books say 30 percent, some say 40, some say 50, some say 60. So, even if I take the maximum value that is 65 percent and that is far away from the all. So, this statement is wrong. It is not associated with the, all the patients who are having the hepatic involvement. Now, look at the option number E disappears with the desperoxamine. Now, this statement is partially wrong. It disappears. Now, this is correct. It is disappearing. This is correct. Means this is reversible. The KF ring is reversible. This is correct. But it is not reversible with the desperoxamine. It is reversing with the depensilamine. Depensilamine. So, therefore, this statement is again wrong. So, what are the right choices in this question? It is B and C. It is seen in the superior inferior Desmond's membrane and it is seen in all patients with the neurological involvement, right? <coughs> now, one more thing. Can you see? This is actually the gonioscopy. Gonioscopy and uh, can you see these deposits? So, the, this is actually showing you the early KF ring, early KF ring on the 
gonioscopy. When you have the late KF ring, when you have got the superior inferior quadrants made or when you have total ring made, you can see it on, uh, you can see it on the torch light or you can see on the slit lamp examination. But the early KF rings are not visible on the slit lamp examination. They are visible by the gonioscopy. What was gonioscopy? Gonio means angle. So, angle of anterior chamber and scopy means the visualization. Scopy means the visualization. So, visualization of the angle of anterior chamber is actually called as gonioscopy. And you know what are the structures that are visible in the angle of anterior chamber. There are five structures. We have the root of the iris. Okay. Then we have ciliary body band. Then scleral spur, trabecular meshwork and then we have the Schalbe's line and then we have the Schalbe's line. So, if I talk about this Schalbe's line, what is Schalbe's line? It is the termination. This is actually the termination of the Desmond's membrane and Desmond's membrane may show the KF ring. So, that is why whenever we have got the early KF ring, they are just located in the ends of the Desmond's membrane. So, they can be seen on the Schalbe's line and the Schalbe's line will be seen only on the gonioscopy. So, sometimes even this question could be asked that if uh, you are having, you are suspecting the KF ring but you cannot see it, then what else you can do? You can do the gonioscopy and you can confirm it on that, alright.